Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Reincarnated in Slime, Season 2, Episode 19. I do not have anything saved for the start of this episode, but I'm super, super hyped and looking forward to it. I uh, really appreciate your guys' kind of uh, feedback, comments, likes, and just overall um, you guys being here with me, uh, obviously watching the series along. Um, and it's just, it's been really nice, honestly, the, uh, everything from you guys. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how the rest of the season is going to go. Uh, but yeah, as always guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now. Wait, so what is he doing? He's giving Tereni a, a body? What is this? So Tereni didn't originally have a body but she could because she was like a spirit or something? Dereya's doll Dereya. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I see, got it. That's very cool. Not something I would have thought about at all, clearly. Holy crap, it's finally here. Look at Rimuru dripped out. Demon Lord attire, you know. Gotta come in your, in your best. Oh, dude, I forgot about this, yeah. Claiming and the Orcs. Born leader, ooh. Very cool, very cool. True. What, what would she be able to help with, though? I mean, because the Demon Lord took over a million of all people. So how would she be able to help with that? I want to see everybody's new ultimate skills. Super hype. <laughs> Shuna wants to see him in the ground, too. Well, still, though, they don't, they don't know... What's happened to Millen then, surely? Even if they have resistance to mind attacks. But I suppose the item that's obviously made Millen how she is, is like one item, you know? They're not going to just use that on anyone. Yeah, when we first met Millen, she really did seem like a kind of lone demon lord, kind of a Mihawk vibes. Who the fuck are all these people like? Ah, okay. <laughs> They're so confident, on it, confident about this. I love it. Betting Maru's character design and like clothing and stuff like that is so cool. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ara. <laughs> Smooth. Oh yeah, these guys. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> All right, yeah. Thanks. Rimuru is playing 10D chess, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and that's how many of the army that's just been, like, taken into that pit? <laughs> Everybody showing off their cool skills. I love it. Back in the pit you go. <laughs> of course it is. Hell yeah, let's get it. How is she flying? <laughs> she, did she jump? Or does she, can she actually fly? Oh, she can actually fly, I guess. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're probably still quite weak. They've, they've just got massive numbers. And these guys are Milim's subordinates, yeah. And I assume they don't realise that Milim's under a spell. Otherwise, this would go very differently. Oh, shit. Seeing these guys go into it, though, that's got to be cool. And he, he moves so quietly. Tear the teardrop and footman the angry Pierrot. These guys are ridiculous. Oh, my God. I want him. I want him to slice these guys in half. The music right now and these guys' like outfits feels like a weird Pokemon battle. Oh shit! This guy's strong. Oh, is she gonna fight him? Hmm. So what are you gonna do there, Chief? Oh, really? <laughs> this guy's basically running away. I mean, I get it. 
So, you know, fair play. He's asking to be killed, though. This is like story scenario of someone who's going to be killed. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Let's go. Bro, her fighting, like, the main finger guy, I guess. God, who are Benny Manu are not going to get to fight with? This is going to be insane. I thought they would fight like this guy and stuff. I hope she beats his ass. Like, straight up, complete one-sided power. I wonder how much of, of the skill in battle is his and how much, like, he's kind of relying on the sword. I like how she has kind of Medusa-esque power. Very cool. <laughs> Hey, Gobita! Let's go! Bro, if Gobita kills this guy, I swear. Oh yeah, Goblin Riders, let's go. Now I want Gobita to kill this guy, that would be so funny. Holy shit. A lot of people in Rimuru's armory, uh, army need a promotion after this. <laughs> <laughs> the referee. I gotta say, I would like a compilation of her just saying "ada," uh, or if, every time she says "ada ada," I, I would, I would pay to watch that. Hell yeah! Damn, that felt so quick. All right, so it looks like in the next episode we're gonna be kind of full force into the one v one. Hopefully, of uh, Albus versus this guy, uh, Yamzara, I believe his name is, or something like that. Um, definitely looking forward to that. Obviously, we're going to see if how much power he holds, or if he's just obviously fully relying on the sword that he's been given. Uh, it was really surprising to see Gobta come out from of, out of, of all the characters to be able to help. Uh, obviously, we had Geld helping um, uh, the, the, other, the other Beast Kateer. Uh, which is fair enough, obviously. 2v1, now 2v2, that's fine. Uh, and obviously they don't seem to mind. Uh, but Gobta, of all the characters in the Goblin and the Goblin Riders to come out and help Albus, that's funny. Um, but obviously it is cool to see, obviously, the, the 1v1 that we thought was going to happen when it, when she first showed up, which is a lot better, uh, even though it would be hilarious to see Gobta beat this guy. But uh, yeah, overall, really liking it so far. I'm loving the kind of general aspect of uh, the... Well, general, like the rank aspect of uh, Benny Maru. It's very cool of him overseeing the whole thing. And it's going to be exciting to see who he and others of that kind of general rank um, get to fight now that obviously, like I said, Albus would be fighting one of the kind of main fingers. So very cool. Definitely looking forward to it. And that is that, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.